My name's George. I'm the operations manager here at Horrigan Urban Forest Products. And what we do here is we take urban lumber, urban trees that come down in the Chicago land area for causes other than lumber. So storm damage, old age, disease, et cetera, et cetera. And we mill them into usable lumber. And uh, most of these logs before us just go into mulch or firewood, which is a form of recycling, however, a very limited form. Lumber can last into a thousand different products and last, you know, 100, 300, however many years, and um, usually longer than the tree itself grew. And then we also kiln dry the wood ourselves, so it's all uh, kiln dried down to the uh, relative moisture content for this area. It's great for woodworking. We carry a lot of different species that grow locally. You've got uh, white oak, maple, ash, elm, catalpa, cherry, black walnut, all sorts. The majority of our trees come from local tree companies in the area that uh, are taking down trees every day. And we also work with local municipalities, so it's City of Northbrook, City of Wilmette, City of Winnetka. They'll come to us and say that we can just come into their uh, dump after they take down the trees and take our choosing. So that also increases the quality of our product while helping out all the local towns with their disposal costs. The uh, majority of our customers are um, your custom woodworkers, cabinet makers, flooring companies we're trying to get into more. Um, anybody from your hobbyist to your large cabinet making company have, have been some of our customers. We've also had uh, large projects with local coffee houses, rehabbing the entire inside of their uh, stores all over the place. Um, a lot of local restaurants have used our wood for new tables, uh, new wall cladding, flooring, all sorts of things. Supply is much greater than demand at this point, unfortunately. Uh, urban lumber is still a relatively unknown term. Um, usually people think of reclaimed lumber and they know what that means, but urban lumber is somewhat new. And uh, that's what we're trying to change. Uh, the supply is incredible. There's trees, hundreds of trees coming down in every town every day, all year round. And if you just go to your local you know, city dump, you'll see them stocked up or you'll see the mulch pile of uh, all the logs that have been mulched. Another side of the business is clients who have a tree coming down. Perhaps they've lived in the house, you know, their families lived in the house for a hundred years and that tree has been the tree that their kids played under and now their, you know, grandchildren are playing under it and unfortunately it has to come down. So they want to save it somehow. That's also something we can come in, save the tree, mill it for them, and they can turn it into heirlooms to pass down to their, ch their children. One project we did was with the Chicago Botanical Gardens. They had a addition going up, I believe, where they had a bunch of cottonwood trees that had to come down for that, and there was a big mess. Uh, you know, people were upset that they had to come down, but they also really were excited about the addition. So what they did is they came to us with the, uh, with the uh, cottonwoods. We took them, and we milled them into eight-quarter thick slabs, and then we went back to their resident woodworker who made all sorts of things out of those cottonwood slabs, and they made uh, benches, waste baskets, all sorts of things that went back into that addition. So where, that, uh, where those trees stood, the products that came out of them basically were almost right there where they used to stand. And then um, we also have started doing large slabs. It's something that's a little bit harder to find around here. Uh, three and a half inch and greater thickness slabs. And um, we've done, we recently did a white oak tree that was about 15 feet long by about 50 inches wide and we mill it on a chainsaw slab and a uh, shipping company, local shipping company, bought two of them to splice into a gigantic massive uh, conference table for their room and because of the flare of the tree it actually matched their logo perfectly so they were super excited about that. This is a wood miser sawmill, band sawmill. It's a LT40. It's just, uh, just the diesel motor and a hydraulic system for moving the logs. And it, it, you know, it gets the job done.